been quite the day especially if you a ravens fan i know ravens fan been super frustrated today because this is the first day of the legal tampering period in the nfl and even though we know how this process goes especially for the baltimore ravens we want them to be jumping to sign this guy that guy that guy that guy and even though they never do it in a year every year is the same thing they take their time a lot of us still get super frustrated when we just watch this player get signed and that player get signed and that player get signed and this year was certainly no different for people who are new to this channel you wouldn't even know that this was a baltimore ravens channel because we've been making videos on so many other teams because the ravens just simply ain't been doing nothing like there was somebody that even commented i, I didn't come here to see no news on them philadelphia eagles i came to see news on the baltimore ravens respectfully hey look I can't do nothing if Ravens ain't doing nothing. What you want me to do? You need to go talk to EDC and them up at the castle about that one, my friend. But anyway, this is a big update from the Baltimore Ravens who haven't been doing anything. They've been losing a couple people now. They done lost Gus Edwards to the Chargers. He's going to be back with Greg Roman. They done lost Geno Stone to the Bengals. We're going to see him twice a year. Oh, we're going to see Gus Edwards next year too. Ooh, that should be fun. Uh, and then they also lost Devin Duvernay to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So they starting to lose some people left and right. It's slowed down a little bit for now, but we'll see who's next. But anyway, this update came from Brad Stainbrook. He covers the Cleveland Browns, and he said this about the Baltimore Ravens, though. He said, source, Baltimore Ravens and Derrick Henry have been in contact today, and that is significant. Reason being because we've been wondering, like, all right, Ravens, y'all going to do like anything, something? I know it's the first day, and y'all don't really make too many moves on the first day, but y'all wait for that second and third wave of free agency, but if something going to give, something going to shake, and it ain't been nothing so far. But Derrick Henry is probably the biggest name with pedigree that hasn't been signed yet because Saquon Barkley, he went to the Philadelphia Eagles. DeAndre Swift, I, th I want to say he went to the Bears, but I forget. But he got signed. Uh... The one from, oh my goodness, my, his name is slipping my mind now. Oh, the one who, Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs, who used to play for the Raiders, he got signed by the Packers to that four-year, $48 million deal. Tony Pollard, he went somewhere. I forgot where Tony Pollard went, but he didn't go back to the Cowboys, but he got signed by somebody. It, it's just been a lot going on uh, in the NFL today, especially at the running back position. Devin Singletary, he got signed. There have been some other running backs that signed in other places too, but we ain't heard nothing about Derrick Henry. Nothing. And people have been wondering, like, okay, we figured Ravens are going to be interested in Derrick Henry, and he ain't get signed yet, but we ain't hear nothing about the Ravens signing him. So what's the deal? Are they interested? Have they communicated with him? Are they talking? What's the deal? So this is a nice update for us as Ravens fans, especially the Ravens fans that want Derrick Henry, because I know a lot of Ravens fans are on the fence about Derrick Henry. Some really would love Derrick Henry. Some would really not love a Derrick Henry. Uh, but we'll see what the Baltimore Ravens do because they certainly do have some options. Derrick Henry being one of them. Uh, a new option that recently got cut when the Packers signed Josh Jacobs, Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones. Now, this would be a very typical Baltimore Ravens move because Aaron Jones would not count against their compensatory pick formula, meaning that he would not cancel out, um, he would not cancel out a player that the Baltimore Ravens lost to that player signing a big deal somewhere else so we'll see what happens with that possibly maybe sign a sorta i mean all you got to do for aaron jones to ball out just tell him everything that we're going against is the dallas cowboys and he's guaranteed to get 2500 yards rushing alone so because that boy he go when it comes to playing the cowboys he'd be going crazy but anyway we'll see what happens with that another name to watch out for that the Baltimore Ravens, they got up close and personal with. So I got to keep checking my phone because today has been crazy. But something else to, uh, to keep up with is Zach Moss. Zach Moss. Remember when the Baltimore Ravens played against the Colts and Zach Moss, he was beating the Ravens on the ground. <laughs> he was beating the Ravens through the air. He was getting it all kind of ways. Um, so Zach Moss is another name to keep an eye on in my opinion I don't know anything I ain't got no plugs no sources no connects no none of that y'all know we are an NFL outsider so we ain't in the end with nobody and don't know nothing that's going on um, but he would be somebody that I would think the Ravens would be monitoring as well um, something that if you're a Ravens fan if you've been a Ravens fan for longer than seven days um, you know with them it's patience 
It's really patience. And, and I get it. Trust me, I get it. We see teams like Philly. Philadelphia Eagles, um, they make crazy signings every single year. They got a nice roster. Their roster is always changing, but they always, if they lose somebody, they still get somebody, and they make their roster even better. They make their roster nice, and they and they spending this crazy money, and they have their quarterback on his second contract. So Jalen Hurts is making some money, so I know a lot of Ravens fans watch them and like, oh, man, look at what they did. Look what they're doing. Oh, my goodness, why can't we do that? And I get it. Like, I know if Ravens were like that, ooh, I know I would love it. I would love, I know a lot of us would love it. But that's just not how they operate for whatever reason. And is it a bad thing? No, not necessarily. It's just a different thing. They're not big movers when it comes to free agency. Like, at least initially, they wait a little bit. They take their time with it. Um, so we'll see how things work out for them soon, <laughs> like very, very soon. Uh, they have lost, um, again, we talked about it earlier. They've lost Gus Edwards and it's crazy because I saw somebody, um, I forgot who it was, but they were like, man, Ravens fans, they turn on players quick, quick. And yes, that is the ultimate truth, unfortunately. And I mean, you can say that about any fan base, but we, of course, interact with Ravens fans on a daily. So we see it more than ever with uh, Baltimore Ravens fans. But it's true because I've seen people saying, oh, Gus Edwards, he's washed. He's over the hill. And what? G huh? No. <laughs> Come on. I've seen people say Geno Stone. He's overrated. He's not even all that. Oh, all of his interceptions were lucky. <laughs> Really, come on, like we we don't gotta do this. We really don't gotta do that. I know people are gonna still do it, but we don't gotta do that. It's okay. These players are making their moves. They're getting their money. And with Devin Duvernay, I I seen some other stuff too. And I know it's gonna still happen with guys like Patrick Queen and whoever else ends up leaving and signing elsewhere too. But I just feel like it's unnecessary. That's just my opinion though. Um, but yeah, we Ravens gonna make their moves eventually. We. <laughs> And that eventually happens. <laughs> I couldn't tell you, man. I, I, I really couldn't tell you. I wish that I could. I wish that I could. I did do a little fun prediction, though. I predicted that the Ravens, they end up losing uh, at least three more people um, today, by tonight. Uh, so we'll see what ends up happening. It's uh, Time is ticking. So we're going to see uh, exactly how close I can get to nailing that prediction. Just a little prediction for fun. Uh, but anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. I told y'all today was going to be crazy. I told y'all it was going to be crazy, and it has been crazy. And I'm sure there's still more craziness on the way, uh, whether it's probably not for the Baltimore Ravens. Well, maybe for them, maybe for some pending free, ag pending free agents that they got who are getting ready to leave. Because I can see some more people leaving. As far as Baltimore Ravens signing anybody, we'll see. But, hey, at least we're talking to Derrick Henry, right? At least we're in communication with Derrick Henry, right? So, now, one more thing to think about. Free agency... While a lot of moves are made in free agency, it is not the end all be all because you still have trades that can be made. Don't forget about that. And I know with free agency, it's the hot thing right now. It's all that's on everybody's mind. And I get that. Trust me, I do. But it's not the only thing. It's not the only way. It's not the only route that can be taken in order to acquire a player of significance to add to the Baltimore Ravens. So that's just something to keep in mind as we continue to sift through what's left. Somebody, somebody tweeted me a, a, a little bit ago and they were like, man, um, the Ravens, they, it's like they, they shopping at Walgreens or something. And I'm like, hold up, no, Walgreens is expensive. I don't know what Walgreens, whatever area you in, but Walgreens here is expensive. So you got to spend some money if you're going to be shopping at Walgreens. So I wouldn't say the Ravens are shopping at Walgreens right now. Um, more like, I mean, <laughs> they shopping at home because they got everything there that they want right now. Uh, so they ain't spending no money at the present. But um, we already know they're going to they make some moves eventually. We just got to be extra, extra patient. Uh, but until then, until whatever's next, uh, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. So you don't miss not a thing because it's obviously a lot going on out here. Even though it ain't been much going on with the Baltimore Ravens, still a lot going on out here and we're trying to keep y'all covered. I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all positivity. I appreciate y'all support. And until whatever happens next, we out.